Hello everybody, Strategy Games Tablespoon here and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 A to Z, the cursed series where I play all of the interesting nations in Victoria 2, from A to Z, and you know the drill, you know how this works. It's really, really hard, but also really satisfying sometimes. Now last time we played Victoria 2 A to Z, we played Columbia, which was, um, I'd say it was a good time. I didn't do what I wanted to do, but it wasn't horrible. So that's a win in my book. And today we're in Denmark, which Denmark actually has a lot of potential and we can do a lot of things with it, like selling Danish India. Mm -hmm. that, that, that'll be my first priority. But really what I'd like to do is reform the Kalmar Union, which um, allows me to create a cursed state. Now you never really know how much land the Danish have in colonies until you play Denmark in Victoria 2 because we have the Gold Coast, we have Danish India, we have mm, we have some islands here as well in, in the Caribbean. Things are actually really really good in Denmark. 80%, 80% of the population can read and that means that we will become a research powerhouse. Luckily for me, my literacy is good enough to start putting people in the factories very early in the game, which is, um, I think, the main problem with playing South American nations. It just takes so long to industrialize that you can never get GP in any reasonable time, so you have a terrible first, like, 80, sometimes 60 years before you actually do anything, and it's just painful. And you know what's even more painful? We're going back to Ecuador after this Denmark video. I hope you like the South American videos because you're getting more of them. Now the Danish might be a literacy powerhouse, but I think they should be a colonial powerhouse. So we're invading Haiti. Don't ask questions, just read them and weep. Ah yes, the first great Danish conquest has come to an end with the annexation of Haiti. Isn't that a fun color for Haiti to be? I love that. Apparently, Christian the Eighth is going to have a redemption. I don't know what a redemption is to the Norwegian people. He's going to speak about something. What he's going to speak about, I didn't read the event. But considering it's towards the Norwegian people, he's probably saying, I don't know, that we're going to annex them. We're coming for you, Norway. Oh, that liberated Norway. And now... I can come to help the Norwegians in the war against Sweden. I don't know how this is going to go for me, but I'm going to mobilize. I'm going to pick up my troops from school. I mean, uh, Hispaniola and bring them to Sweden. Sweden, you're going down. Nothing like a little blockade of Stockholm to teach the Swedes that they are going to be defeated by the combined Norwegian and Danish forces. This is a little trolling on the part of the Swedish that they would not just let Norway go without a fight, but whatever. You're going to pay for your actions, Sweden. Dang, the Swedes are at war with everybody. They're at war with the Russians, too. This is different. Di different gameplay right here. I I've never done this before. Well, with the help of the Russians, we absolutely dunked on the Swedish, which means, I don't know what it means, I think we're allied with Norway, but I don't really know what we can do with that. I know that our decisions say we can restore Denmark-Norway, but we need to um, either spear them, puppet them, or invent and invent state and government, which we haven't done yet. We'll see. We'll see what we can do with this. Denmark and Norway won the war of Scandinavia. You're, you bet we did. So what does this do? Oh, awesome. <laughs> we got Gotland, we got this lower portion of Sweden. Denmark is on the road to secondary power and we've only played for five years. Why does Denmark start the game with a slavery thing? Why? Out outlawed, immediately. Please. I, I, what, we're, do we have slaves in Danish India? What if you wanted to have a nice chill game where there were no rebels? But the game said, Age of Liberalism. Here come the rebels, ladies and gentlemen. There is nothing you can do to stop them. 
I like how the literacy rate this game has just steadily decreased as I've conquered more land. Like what, they can't read in, in southern Sweden? If there's anybody from s southern Sweden, C can you confirm this piece of information? The next phase of Danish imperialism is about to begin. We are taking this nation, Oyo, because the British get an event to take it later and I, <laughs> I'm just taking it myself. There is no contest. Those guys did not stand a chance at all. We are now a major holder of land in Africa. Very cool. Oh no, Christian has died. Christian the, I don't know what that is. Oh wait, I guess it's the eighth. How can you read this font? It's the world's worst font. It's almost as bad as the rock salt font. But yeah, Christian died, which means um, the country is about to go to pot. Oh, there it is, the March Revolution. Things are going very badly. Christian was the only thing holding the Danish nation together. So now I get the Shelwig Holstein question, which basically allows me to go to war with my former puppet because they are being cringe. Now what I'm going to try and do here is call the British into the war because I know that if I have the help of the British, I can definitely b delete this tiny minor nation. And with the help of the British, we have absolutely demolished them. I, You couldn't see the peace deal because the British did it for me. <laughs> I think Prussia is going to be very upset with us in the future because we now own a literal ton of German cores, but I do not care. That is a problem for a later date. Denmark strong. I can also rename it to Danish stuff, which is just always cool to see. What is this? Danish Schleswig. Whoa. We are going to allow Holstein to go, I think, as an independent state. Because that'll create, I guess, a buffer zone against the Prussians. Because I, I do fear the Prussians. It's just something that is deeply rooted inside of me. I played enough France and Austria games to fear the Prussians. The revolution is over. Very cool. Uh, <laughs> I love those events because they end the suffering. Hey, we've risen to great power, which means we've beaten out Spain. Sorry, Spain. This always happens. Every time I become GP, it's always Spain that gets the blunt end of the stick in their eye. We can nationalize the industry, and because the Danish decisions are absolutely busted, we can automatically form the Kalmar Union, which, wait, oh, Sweden has refused. Declare war on Sweden. You silly, silly, silly Swedish country who has no friends. You are now going to get annexed because you chose not to become part of the Kalmar Union. However, incorporating a new factory. I'm so confused as to what is happening. All I know, Sweden did not cooperate. This should be a pretty easy war. I trapped the entire Swedish army on Gotland with my navy. So unless the Swedish pull a navy out of their butt, uh, <laughs> we win. The Swedes have given up, which is great. I annex Sweden. Oh my goodness, that's a cursed Denmark. And I can also restore Denmark-Norway with this other event, which... Um, you have to have state and government and have speared Norway, which I just did during that war. I inherit Norway, which creates the crazily large Denmark-Norway. Very, 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 very undeniably cool. Unfortunately, I only have cores on Norway and not Sweden. I would really like cores on Sweden. That is something I would really like. So I'm going to have to find a way to do that. Oh, and it's this. Is it the Scandinavian Customs Union? Wait, the first step in uniting the Scandinavian nations to eliminate... Yeah, we're basically going to have to do a couple more researches and then we can create Scandinavia. I wish I could just form Scandinavia right now because I own all of this territory I need. But these stupid techs, why is it reliant on these stupid techs? Please, let me speed run. Okay, I'm going to click the Scandinavian Custom Unions button now and hopefully... Oh... The political union. I need to have invented empiricism. So basically, I need to wait another eight years before I can form Scandinavia. Why does it lock it behind those things? I. How have we passed the Americans in great power? 
And why does Jan Mayan exist? Where is... Uh, <laughs> GFM, you sneaky, sneaky, sneaky uh, modders snuck this little Easter egg in here. Do I have to play this in Victoria 2 A to Z? Please don't say I have to play this. I feel such a contrast to playing this country from the South American countries that I played before. It's, I've been playing the game for like 17 years and I am great power. And that's just really a huge step up over when you play in South America and it's like year 65 of playing. Still, not great power. Renovate Copenhagen. Yes, please. I really like how we're going to utilize the items that we earned when we conquered our new empire and send it all back to Copenhagen. It's like the EU4 DLC that I can't remember the name of. Leviathan that totally flopped. What an awful DLC. If I was making content at that time, I would have had a heyday. Two Sicilies. Yeah, I am seeing two Sicilies. I'm seeing Sicily and two Sicilies. How can you call yourself two Sicilies if you no longer have Sicily? All right, now that I research empiricism, I can finally do the Scandinavian Political Union, which um, does something. I think it added accepted cultures, maybe? Yeah, Swedish and all the other important ones. And then finally, we can do whatever that is. I'm not going to try and pronounce that, which finally makes us the Kalmar Union. Ha! How to, what a cool tag, honestly. That gives us cores over here and cores on this portion of Russia, which should give us some nice, fun territory to conquer as the game continues. Very excited. This is going to be a fun time. The Austrians are just totally incompetent. They lost land to, to the Serbians in 1863. Austria, what's happening to you? You know what? I'm tired of the Austrians. I'm just going to peace out with the Serbs and let them have um, this lower portion of uh, Austria. I'm also speared Finland. Somehow the Russians let it go out of their spear. So now I can unify Finland with Scandinavia, which means I get Finland too. Wow, that <laughs> this is fun. That is actually so many more cores. I'm so happy. The Russian Empire continues to hold some of our lands, which is um, interesting because I did not know I had a claim on St. Petersburg. Um, I can't take this right now, but I'm still going to take the war goal because why not? What that did was it got rid of my core on St. Petersburg, but I still have a core on this other stuff, so I don't really understand. I would take on the Russians for my cores, but I know I can't do that right now. My army is kind of pitiful, and they are um, a really, really, really strong army. How do I find myself allied with both the Austrians and the Italians at the same time? Mm, I'm putting my money on Italy. I'll join the Italians. Germany has formed without Alsace-Lorraine. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm not scared. The Germans have declared war on me. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I am allied with the Italians, but they can't do anything. And I can't do anything about that. So I guess, yeah. Mm. All right. We gave up some of our territory. We'll be back for it, though. The Germans are really, really strong this game. This is going to be tough. There's a crisis against the Russians, which is great because um, I'm eager to reenact the Swedish-Russian war of some year. I don't remember what year. I'm going to back the Germans. Hopefully, we can get the Russians to either release Poland or we go to war with them and stomp them. Russia would actually be insane to take this crisis. Everybody's back Germany, but the Russians are not folding. The Russians are about to get demolished by all of these allies. We got the Ottomans, the Italians, the Germans, the Kalmar Union, and I think that's it. Yeah, we are gonna beat the Russians. I'm not sure when the Germans are gonna peace out here, but I just wanna show you the Russians before they cap. Holy moly, not good day for them. The Germans peaced out with Russia, but they didn't give me the state I demanded in the peace deal. Germany, I hate you more than I can possibly say right now. I will get you. 
the French decided to take this one province of Dahomey in my Nigerian colony that I'm trying to build. So in exchange, I speared Madagascar, and now I'm going to end the Madagascar monarchy. And with that, I will establish a protectorate. Take that, France. This is what you get. There's something incredibly satisfying about colonization in this game. You just kind of blob, and you have no repercussions for it. But colonialism isn't cool. Just remember that, guys. It's not cool. But it does make some interesting borders. I think I have several techs up on the Russians at this point. So I'm going to declare my own war to liberate my cores from whatever this country, Russian Federative Republic. Here we go. Does this piece of Africa I've taken look like Syria? I feel like it's like flat and then up and then there's a little bit here. It looks like Syria. The stirrings of Indian nationalism? Yeah, I'm sure this one province of India is gonna have a lot of nationalists in it. Maybe you should go talk to the British. They seem like the main enemy to Indian nationalism. The Germans are at war with the Russians. This is my time to shine. I'm gonna liberate all my cores and hopefully they'll have enough war exhaustion that this kills them. Unfortunately, this war looks like an L for me, so I'm going to just peace out, white peace with the Russians. I will be back. I, I will get my cores eventually. It's just today was not the day. Russia did fall from GP here though, so I think there is a possibility of beating them in the future. They'll probably be back. Who am I kidding? The Italians have officially created the world's worst borders. My brain has officially left the building. Nobody had colonized Kenya, so I did it for them. I'm considering going further up and colonizing Somalia, but honestly, it's too much work for the garbage RGOs you get. Hey, hey, we're first to the North Pole, which shouldn't really surprise anybody because we just kind of have to like hop on this island and then walk up there. So I guess that's a win. Dub skis. I've invented gas attack. So uh, the first victim of that will be um, Russia. I'm going to take all my cores back. I'm not going to be able to call the Italian, so that's an L. But hopefully I'll be able to run over Russia and then real quick maybe peace out the French. I don't know how I'm going to do this. All I know is I would like my cores. Thank you. The Italians have joined the war, which makes it the great war. So hopefully the Italians can beat up the French here. I can also maybe call the UK at some point. I don't know. Hopefully the French lose and then I will fight over here. I will peace out the French. I will acquire all my cores and hopefully this will be a dub. I'm calling the UK in. Hopefully they'll be able to help the Italians who are in typical Italian fashion getting annihilated. Dang, Italy won. Italy is coming in clutch. They're going to get the French out of this war for me and then I will only have to deal with the Russians who... um. Yeah, the Russians aren't looking good. Russia is willing to surrender, which um, is probably because these guys siege down the entirety of France and I siege down the entirety of Russia. They are going to give me everything I wanted, so I'm going to take it. How cool! Look at all that territory we got. A bunch of these states I added manually in the peace deal, but all of this stuff we have cores on, or at least some of it. So I'm very pleased with our gains here. Now our only cores are held by one interesting nation. I'm gonna unify Estonia with Scandinavia, which um, gives cores. Karelia with Scandinavia. I'll integrate the Baltics, which um, actually somehow removes cores from um, the Russians. So all of this stuff is exclusively, or when it loads, it will be nobody's cores. Ah, th there's just no cores on these. That's so weird. And then finally, we will welcome back the Kola Peninsula, which is something. I don't know my Russian geography. Oh, it, it's this portion. Cool. That gave us a bunch of cores. How is Japan going to let Russia get great power again after Russia lost half their cores? Oh, man. The UK... How are you getting invaded in Wales by the Irish? You know better than this, UK. You know better. 
Germany is at war with the Russians and the French. So I'm going to declare war on them at the same time to liberate all of my cores. And I'll also call my allies. I don't care who joins. Whoever does, does. It's quite unlike the Germans to get behind on Miltech, but oh boy, oh boy, when they do, minus 245,000 troops in one battle. They still will not peace out with me though. <laughs> what jerks. Some of these battles are just sad. 100,000 of my troops are gonna beat 150,000 of theirs in a heartbeat. The Germans need to surrender, but they are not seeming like they want to do that at this point. The German military in Europe is just gone at this point. So I'm just walking my troops across the entire country. Hopefully they will surrender soon and just give me what I want. Because I am losing money and I don't want to fight this stupid war anymore. I think this is their last army here in the south. After full sieging the Germans, I can finally get a favorable peace deal. I'm not going to take Ost whatever that is because I can't get enough war score and I just like to be done with this war. So I'm going to proceed with that. I get a huge amount of land off the Germans. I'm going to keep everything we've gained because why not? And yeah, <laughs> new Scandinavian borders. Uh, I'm almost have the entire Baltic Sea, which would be cool to get. But now we can demobilize and work on recovering from this very, very expensive war that we just fought. Oh man, Germany took a worse toll from that than I thought. They uh, were forced to be dismantled as well. I'm really high on infamy right now because of all the war goals I added. So I'm only going to try and limit German power here. I don't really need that many colonies, nor do I want that many colonies. The economy's already busted. Hey, I've also assumed control over the Kiel Canal, which will make me that sweet, sweet moolah. I've taken some stuff around here. There's some serious border gore still, but I don't particularly care. I don't have enough infamy for this, so I'm going to get rid of the rest of the colonies. Hopefully things aren't too bad. I got Kenya. I got Namibia somehow. Um, I got some stuff in the Congo, and yeah, that just seriously increases my colonial game. Hey, St. Petersburg, you think that's enough Jacobin rebels? 237,000 Jacobin rebels? Twelfth War of Chinese Reunification. This is like the number one reason why I don't want to play in China. If there have to be 12 wars to reunify China, this is not going to be a fun nation to play. Sometimes the Victoria 2 events don't scale with the rate that your country gets more powerful. Like this, rename Christiania, which uh, is when you rename Oslo. Yeah, it gives you two and a change prestige, and it renames one of your cities. That is just not even worth me clicking the button at this point. Scandinavia is just too large. The Russians have decided to declare war on me in an attempt to, I guess, get their cores back which um, is not cool of them at all. We are going to pounce upon them with the claws of a million cats. The Russians are willing to white piece me. I will take that in a heartbeat. Now I just have to go deal with the Germans before they slowly eat me for breakfast. I'm gonna give the Germans back Mecklenburg. I know this is probably an unpopular move, but I really cannot fight Germany right now. Things are really bad in this country because there aren't enough soldier pops to actually fight anybody. Especially there, I was totally caught off guard by the Russians. That was not good. Wait, anyway, folks, it is 1936, so that is the end of the game. Uh, I'm, I apologize for this video. Uh, I don't think I'm making my best content. I recorded this during the week, and uh, it's not the same. I'm... I just don't think the commentary is this good. But yeah, we created Scandinavia, we got uh, Iceland, we got the Caribbean, we got West Africa, a bunch of African stuff. I had a lot of fun. Scandinavia is a really good country, um, especially in, what the, what is this, GFM? There's a lot of stuff you can do. Luckily for y'all in the audience, you're going to see this two more times when I play Sweden and uh, Norway. I'll try and spice it up a little. And I think one of those games will be able to get the entire, uh, what is this, the Black, the Baltic Sea, will be able to get the entire thing surrounded. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. 
we did pretty good here. And yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you. The rest of the world looks like, yeah, we got the Dutch East Indies, we got Japan, China, westernized, really big. Mm, not much else. Oh, how did these guys survive? 